I'm sorry, Saints fans. I let you down. I won't let you down this week. Let's go. All right, we're reviewing week three, uh, giving my predictions, uh, trying to, you know, go 16-0 and 0 or however many games there are. We're going to start here. We're going to go a little quicker this time. I'm going to try to make this a little bit of a shorter video. Uh, Thursday Night Football, we got Patriots at the Jets. Uh, it's, I mean, this one's simple. Patriots are better than what I thought they were going to be, but the Jets just have the better defense and I think the better quarterback. You know, the Patriots actually might be a good team if they had a quarterback, and they might, you know, sitting on the bench. But if it's Jacoby Bissett, which it looks like it is, I'm going with the Jets. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. All right, next one, Giants, Browns. Um, again, not really going to go over this one too much. I think Daniel Jones is like a bottom three quarterback in this league. Uh, he had a very, 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 you know, first two games of the season. Not very good. Browns, on the other hand, also don't really have a quarterback. I don't think he is good. He played very good in week one or two, uh, but they have the better defense and I think the better coach. So I'm going with the Browns. All right, next one, Eagles at the Saints. Uh, the Saints, oh my God, probably one of the best teams in the league. Nobody called that. Don't say that you called that. Even Saints fans didn't even call that. They've put up 40 plus points in both of their games. Absolutely ridiculous. Alvin Kamara, like once a season, has like a five touchdown game. And last week was that game against uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Eagles, Saints, Eagles blew the, the game Monday night against the Falcons. I am going with the Saints to continue this run. I don't know if they're going to score 40 points again, but it's very possible. And uh, I kind of hope they do just because I do like Derek Carr um, and Chris Olave and Rashid Shahid because he's on my fantasy team. But I am actually seriously going to go with the Saints this time. And I got you guys both wrong week one and two. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Saints are winning this. All right, Texans, Vikings, both teams are 2-0. Uh, if you talked to somebody and said that, you know, three weeks ago, I don't think they would believe you. Uh, Texans, a team you would think we're going to go, you know, 2-0. Vikings, not so much. I, I had them actually probably going 0-2. But the Texans are a real, they are a real team. They are the real deal. So... I'm not going to underestimate C.J. Stroud. I, I, I thought he was the best quarterback or a top five quarterback uh, since last year. And he's continuing that trajectory. He's not having a sophomore slump, at least not yet. Um, but Sam Darnold, on the other hand, is also having a very good start to the season. Um, that Vikings defense is also no joke with Brian Flores. But I think the Texans are the real deal, and I'm going to go the Texans. All right, Broncos, Buccaneers. Broncos, not really impressive, kind of like the Bears over this time, but they also don't have the greatest roster. Bo Nix, still, like Caleb Williams, like Jane Daniels, has yet to throw a touchdown pass. Um, but the Buccaneers, on the other hand, on the other hand, are going crazy. They just beat the Lions, which I actually did not have the Buccaneers winning that game. Um, I could see it happening, but I didn't think it was actually going to happen. Uh, but Baker Mayfield has been having, just like Derek Carr, a very great start to the season, and I'm happy for Baker Mayfield. I hope that continues. I hope they go to the playoffs, and I hope they're actual contenders. Um, so just for that, I think the Broncos start 0-3 and the Buccaneers take this one. All right, Packers-Titans. Uh, Will Levis. Not Will Levis. Yeah, Will Levis against Malik Willis. I get those mixed up because they both got Will in their name. Malik Willis is most likely going to be the starter for the Packers. Uh, they are in Tennessee. I actually am, ha if, if Malik Willis is going to play, I have the Tennessee Titans taking their first win against the Packers. And I'm not just saying that because I don't like the Packers because I'm a Bears fan. No, I'm coming at this as a very unbiased as possible. I think the Titans have a very good defense, uh, and I think they will get the win on this one. Unless Malik Willis comes out, you know, guns blazing against his old team. Uh, revenge game, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think the Packers will take an L here. Uh, and I, So I got the Titans. All right, Bears-Colts. This one, 
This one, honestly, out of all of them on this schedule, might be the hardest one to pick. I'm not kidding. They both suck. They're both bad teams. So I don't know who to... This is going to be... My God, man. I feel so bad for Bears and Colts fans for having to sit down and watch this. This is going to be a fucking awful game to watch. This is going to be super low scoring. But, but, on paper, the Bears have the better defense. DeForest Buckner is not playing. And I don't think Anthony Richardson is that good of a quarterback as of right now. So, I got the Bears winning strictly because their defense is the real deal. And... Caleb Williams, if he was going to have a bounce back game, it is going to be this game because the Colts don't have a defense that scares me. So if Caleb Williams doesn't have a bounce back game, that's when I'm going to kind of start worrying about our offense. But the Colts just lost to a Malik Willis Packers team. Um, I am going to go with the Bears here and the Colts are going to drop a game to the Bears, which is a little embarrassing. Next up, we got Steelers, Chargers. Um, this one's kind of hard. It sounds like Justin Fields is going to start again. So I am going to go Chargers. They are 2-0 in the season. I really, really do think that Jim Harbaugh is the like deciding factor in this one. I really think he is going to be coach of the year. He... With that, with that roster, they are a tough team to play right now. J.K. Dobbins has been having an amazing uh, start to the season. Justin Herbert hasn't really been, you know, doing that much. But with the worst wide receivers that they have there, I don't blame him whatsoever that he's not really do, like having the hottest start. Uh, he did throw two touchdown passes to Quentin Johnston, which I didn't have on my bingo card, you know, for the entire season. But I'm going with the Chargers just strictly off Jim Harbaugh. Uh, I think Justin Fields finally gets his first down in Pittsburgh. All right, Dolphins, Seahawks. I think uh, the Dolphins don't have Tua. So just for that fact alone, I'm going with the Seahawks. They The Seahawks are more of like a gritty team. Um, they get wins, you know, they barely won over the Patriots. The Patriots actually probably should have won that game. Uh, but strictly just based off of they don't have Tua, I'm going with the Seahawks. All right, Panthers, Raiders. Um... <laughs> just like the Giants, man, I'm not talking about this one that much, uh, especially that they don't have Bryce Young anymore. Bryce Young is benched. Even though Bryce Young, you know, is not good, we, we don't know yet. Uh, he's had some, like, bad offensive staff. He's had some bad, you know, offensive weapons, you know, bad offensive line. Even though Bryce Young is not playing, he even if he was playing, I mean, it doesn't really affect the prediction that much but Andy Dalton may be like slightly better than Bryce Young that's why I'm like confused on why they're even benching him but also I already I already went over that if you wanted me to go over that look at my last video but I'm going with the Raiders they just got a win over the Ravens and Gardner Minshew has been you know actually decent for the the Raiders Devontae Adams you know still playing like he's in his prime when he's like third what is he 32 um Devonte Adams is still the real deal. It looks like Brock Bowers is the real deal. So I got the Raiders. Not much more to talk about. All right, this next one is a little tricky too. Um, the 49ers versus the Rams. This is a division game, um, but strictly because the Rams don't have Puka Nakua or Cooper Cup now for four, four plus weeks probably. I'm going with the, the 49ers, even though they're coming off of a very brutal loss over the over the Minnesota Vikings. Um, I think that, you know, just strictly off of that, they're, the 49ers should win this game. So I'm going with the Niners. All right, um, this one's actually pretty freaking hard too. I, I, I forgot about this one. Uh, this one's really hard. This is Lions Cardinals. Lions coming off of a brutal loss against the Buccaneers, which I don't think anyone was picking the Buccaneers to win. Now, the Buccaneers are no slouches, but man, the, the, the Lions should be able to beat that team. Coming off of a bad Jared Goff game, and then Cardinals coming off of like the highest of highs. You know, Marvin Harrison Jr. over 100 yards, two touchdowns, almost had a third touchdown. Um, James Conner having a hell of a game. Kyler Murray looks back to that, you know, first overall pick 
type of vibe. Like, this team is coming out hot. Like, hot, hot. And people forget that not even two years ago, three years ago, they were 11-0 at one point uh, with Kyler Murray. So, James Conner, Trey McBride, Marvin Harrison Jr., that is a good team. And again, just like last just like last week, I actually picked the Cardinals to win against the Rams. And I didn't think they were going to win by that much. I am going to have the Cardinals upsetting the Lions. And they are going to win. The Cardinals are winning this game. 100%. Mark my word. All right, next up. This one's a freaking also hard to predict. Because they both suck. <laughs> Ravens Cowboys Ravens coming off of a brutal start to the season 0 and 2 who would have predicted that 0 and 2 and the Cowboys coming out uh to a brutal loss to the Saints uh, absolutely schlocked they I don't even know what I just said they absolutely schlocked them that's still not a word but you know what I mean the the Cowboys got destroyed by the, the Saints and the Ravens, you know, losing to the Chiefs week one, that's understandable. They're the Chiefs. But losing to the Raiders week two, in that fashion, not a very good look. This one's hard to pick. I am going with the Cowboys getting a bounce back win. And the Ravens falling to 0-3. Who would have thought that? Next up, we got Chiefs-Falcons. Falcons winning last minute against the Eagles on Monday Night Football. Good for Kirk Cousins. Good for Darnell Mooney. I'm very glad Darnell Mooney uh, was able to be a huge contributor on that Atlanta Falcons offense because the last season with the Bears, he was not. So it's, I'm very glad to see Mooney succeed there, and, and I hope he continues to do that. The Chiefs, you know, the Chiefs are the Chiefs. There's not much to talk about. They are the reigning defending champions. They're 2-0. and They're still the Chiefs. But with better weapons. They have Xavier Worthy, you know, Rasheed Rice. Travis Kelsey actually hasn't had that good of a start. The, the other tight ends on that team have had a way better start. But they are out on uh, Isaiah Pacheco. I got the Falcons winning. Upset. I got the Falcons winning and Kirk Cousins taking down the Chiefs. They are also at home. Another upset. There were so many upsets last week. I think the Chiefs finally lose a game. All right, Monday Night Football. We got a Monday Night doubleheader. Uh, so two games on Monday Night Football this time. We got Jaguars-Bills. Not much to talk about. I think Trevor Lawrence has is super mid, as mid as mid can get. Bills win this one. Um, I think Dalton Kincaid, you know, James Cook, very good. You know, Keon Coleman, uh, Khalil Shakir. J Josh Allen without Stefan Diggs looks so much happier and better out there. It's, it's just insane. The Bills at home should win this game. I got the Bills. All right, and then the next one, um, the next Monday Night Football game, because it is a doubleheader, is Commanders at the Bengals, which is why, why, like why, but, uh, but you know, forget why. Um, Bengals not looking good, man, not looking good. Uh, they actually, I mean, they, they lost to the Patriots week one and then almost beat the Chiefs week two. Makes no sense. Uh, Jamar Chase does not look happy out there. Um, you know, T. Higgins not doing so hot. You know, Zach Moss, eh, uh, just meh. And then Joe Burrow just not doing as good as people thought or hoped he would. And then Jaden Daniels, his first uh, his first primetime game, has he's been doing good rushing. He can't really throw right now. Like, he's not doing so good throwing. But running the ball, he's doing great. He has... Uh, what two or three rushing touchdowns by himself, which is very good But I feel like the Bengals finally are going to bounce back. Uh, they do have the better team They have the better quarterback the better wide receivers um, I think the Bengals are finally gonna get their first win So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I tried to keep this one a little bit shorter um, so let me know if you know, I'm stupid. Let me know anything like that. But please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button. It definitely helps me out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.